dear friend today we will see the third type of the white fiber that are the projection fibers projection fibers projection fiber itself the name suggests they arises from the cerebral cortex and descends downward project from the lower lower uh, nuclei like the medulla pons or the this uh, midbrain and the spinal cord or either the fiber ascends upward and ends into the cerebral cortex so these are the projection fiber here and these projection fiber either the i i, I told you the descending or the ascending ascending fiber are known as the corticopetal fiber okay so these are the ascending fiber ascending corticopetal or descending fiber corticofugal fiber okay so two type of the fiber ascend and these are known as the projection fiber now there are the different type of the projection fiber are here one are the coronal radiata fiber coronal radiata fiber are the they are the mass of the fiber which ascends okay from the uh, internal capsule and radiate okay like a corona to other different areas of the cerebral cortex so if you draw the diagram uh, look here this is the i think this is one pencil here suppose This is the cerebral hemisphere and here is the midbrain descends downward. This is the cerebellum. Like this. Okay, here. So, coronal radiata fiber. Now, look here. The coronal radiata fiber here. They comes from the all areas of the cerebral cortex, passes towards the internal capsule. Okay, so area between the lentiform nucleus laterally and caudate and thalamus medially. So this area is not the internal capsule. So these fiber passes. So these are the coronal radiata fiber. So this is the one type of the projection fiber. Okay. Then the internal capsule itself. Internal capsule means the area between the here yeah, the lentiform nucleus like this. Okay. Here is the caudate nucleus, and here is the is the thalamus so this area is the, the internal capsule so this is internal capsule now internal capsule i told you fiber which condense between the three nuclei and descends downward towards the midbrain pons and the medulla so these are the fiber of the internal capsule and this internal capsule fiber here uh, makes a uh, passes through the horn okay the end it from the anterior horn genu and the posterior horn so this is internal capsule and after the, the third type of the fiber are the, there are the external capsule external capsule are the fiber which passes lateral to the here the lentiform nucleus here okay so this fiber okay these are also the projection fiber which descends downward clear okay. so this is the external capsule here okay now another type of the fiber the fiber of the fornix Okay, fiber of the fornix here. Fornix fiber are the special type of the fiber which have all the three come mature in this fornix. Okay, there's an association, okay, fiber. Okay, then a commissural fiber and the projection fiber. So all the three type of the white fiber in, are in the fornix. Okay, 
फोनिक्स इफ यू सी दी एसोसिएशन फाइबर एसोसिएशन फाइबर दे आर एसोसिएटेड विद द डिफरेंट एरियाज ऑफ द सेम सो दिस अटैच द दिस फोनिक्स फाइबर अटैच एट द वन एंड द हिपोकेम्पल हिपोकेम्पस एंड अदर द पेरा टर्मिनल गायरस ही है सो दिस इज द एसोसिएशन फाइबर ओके देन कमिशरल फाइबर कमिशरल फाइबर मीन्स दिस द बोथ साइड ऑफ द फोनिक्स ओके द कॉलम ऑफ दिस क्रूरा कम्स इन द मिड लाइन बिनीथ दी एक्सप्लेनियम एंड दे कनेक्ट टू ईच अदर सो दे फ्रॉम द कमिश्योर सो दिट इज द हिपोकेम्पल कमिश्योर एंड द प्रोजेक्शन फाइबर प्रोजेक्शन फाइबर ऑफ द फोनिक्स आर फाइबर विच स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द हिपो कैंपस गोइंग टू आज द हाइपोथेलेमस एंड देन फ्रॉम द हाइपोथेलेमस टू द मेमिलरी बॉडी ओके द मेमिलो हाइपोथेलेमिक फाइबर एंड द मेमिलो थेलेमिक फाइबर सो दीज आर द प्रोजेक्शन फाइबर सो द फोनिक्स इज द ऑल द थ्री टाइप ऑफ द फाइबर एसोसिएशन कमिश्योर एंड द प्रोजेक्शन फाइबर ओके नाउ वी टूडे डिस्कस विद द इंटरनल कैप्सूल वाट इज इंटरनल कैप्सूल हि लोक हिया इंटरनल कैप्सूल दिस इज द Uh, this is the lentiform nucleus. This is the coded nucleus. And this is the thalamus. Okay, thalamus. Coded nucleus, a lentiform nucleus. The lentiform nucleus here, on the medial side. Here, this is the globus pallidus, globus pallidus, and this lateral side is a putamen. Okay, here. Yeah. So, this is so so area between this uh, corded nucleus and thalamus medially, and the uh, lentiform lateral nucleus laterally is known as the internal capsule. Now, this internal capsule is divided into the four part here. Okay, what are this? Look here. This is the anterior limb here. This is anterior limb, and this is the posterior limb. Okay, here yeah, this one, and this turning is known as the genu. Okay, this is a three part one: anterior limb here, yeah, from this to this level, and this is the genu and this posterior limb. Okay, another two parts are here: the lateral lentiform part and sub lentiform part here. Yeah. So posterior to the lentiform nucleus, this area. The fiber which passes through this area, okay. This is the lateral lentiform, okay. And fiber passes below the lentiform nucleus here. Some fiber from the thalamus here passes towards the below the lentiform nucleus here, okay. This is this is the sub lentiform part. Lentiform part. This lateral lentiform part, okay. So this is the anterior limb, genu, and the posterior limb. Okay. So the other, so anterior limb is between the anterior part of the lentiform nucleus and the caudate nucleus. Okay. While the posterior limb is between the posterior part of the lentiform nucleus and the thalamus. Clear. And the genu is between this here turning, where the anterior limb and posterior limb meets. There's a turning, and the lateral lentiform part behind the lentiform nucleus. Okay. And the sub lentiform part is below the Lentiform nucleus. So these are the five parts of the uh, this internal capsule here. What are the fibers which passes through the this internal capsule? Look here. This is very important. No, this is the lentiform nucleus. This is the coded nucleus. And this is the thalamus. Okay. Thalamus. No. And also here, uh, if you draw the this diagram, cerebral cortex. Okay. 
ठीक है ना दे आर सर्टन सेंसोरी फाइबर ऑफ द असेंडिंग फाइबर पासिस एंड द डिसेंडिंग ऑफ द मोटर फाइबर पासिस थ्रो दिस इंटरन कैप्सूल ही है द फर्स्ट रूल इज हियर टू अंडरस्टैंड हियर द फाइबर विच पासिस थ्रो द इंटरन कैप्सूल दे आर अरेंज इन टू द अपर लिम एंड द थोरेक्स एबडोम एंड द लोअर लिम लाइक दिस अरेंजमेंट ओके सो द मोस्ट एंटीयर फाइबर द मोस्ट अपर फाइबर ऑफ द बॉडी पासिस टू द मोस्ट एंटीयर साइड एंड द फॉरमोस्ट लोअर फाइबर ऑफ द बॉडी पासिस टू द पोस्टीयर साइड ऑफ द दिस इंटरन कैप्सूल दिस इज सो इट इज इजी टू रिमेम्बर एंड ऑल द फाइबर पासिस स्ट्रेट थ्रू दिस इंटरन कैप्सूल द नो रिले अकर इन द इंटरन कैप्सूल दे स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द सेल्बर कोर्टेक्स डिस्टेंस डाउन ऑन और आइदर द एंड इन टू द मिड ब्रेन और द पॉन्स और द मेडुला और द स्पाइनल कोड लाइक दिस ओके सो दिस फाइबर वेन दे डिसेंड डाउन वर्ड दे आर अरेंज इन टू द सर्टन सीक्वेंस ही है अपर पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी फाइबर पास टू द एंटीयर पार्ट देन द मिडिल पार्ट इन द थोरेक्स एबडोम एंड द लोअर लिम इन दिस सीक्वेंस ओके ना सो दिस इज इजी टू रिमेंबर ना कम ऑन द फर्स्ट द असेंडिंग फाइबर वट आर द असेंडिंग फाइबर पासिस असेंडिंग फाइबर पासिस थ्रो द थेलेमस इट कम्स फ्रॉम द थेलेमस ओके बिकॉज दे रिले इन द थेलेमस एंड फ्रॉम द थेलेमस दे पास थ्रो द डिफरेंट एरियाज ऑफ द सेल्बर कोर्टेक्स एंड दिस पास थ्रो द डिफरेंट एरिया ऑफ द दिस इंटरन कैप्सूल हियर नाउ दे आर द रेडिएशन आर अगर थेलेमिक दिया थेलेमिक रेडिएशन ओके सपोज दिस इज द थेलेमस ओके थेलेमस नाउ द फोर थेलेमिक रेडिएशन आर दे आर सुपीरियर थेलेमिक रेडिएशन एंटीयर थेलेमिक रेडिएशन दिस अ पोस्टीयर एंड द इनफीरियर ओके हियर सो लुक हियर फर्स्ट द एंटीयर थेलेमिक रेडिएशन लाइक दिस एंटीयर थेलेमिक रेडिएशन फाइबर फाइबर फ्रॉम द मीडियल एंड द एंटीरियर nuclei of the thalamus they come from this this nuclei and passes to the frontal lobe the frontal cortex here okay so these are the anterior thalamic radiation okay now the superior thalamic radiation these are the superior which passes for the superior direction here this superior thalamic radiation comes from the ventral nucleus the ventral group of the nuclei that is the here the ventral anterior okay and ventral lateral and ventral posterior lateral and ventral posterior medial okay this group of the nuclei the fiber comes here and passes here through the posterior limb okay passes through the posterior limb inter capsule and reaches towards the parietal lobe clear yeah. so these are the superior thalamic radiation okay this also passes through the genu genu and the posterior then the or the inferior radiation okay this inferior radiation fiber comes from the the passes towards the temporal lobe here okay they come from the medial geniculate body and they carry the auditory fiber mainly okay so these are the here yeah, auditory fiber Okay, comes from the medial geniculate body and enters into the temporal lobe. While the posterior fiber, these are the lateral lentiform, which passes through the lateral lentiform part of the uh, internal capsule, and this fiber comes from the lateral geniculate body. These are the fiber of the visual pathway, and they reaches towards the occipital lobe. Okay, like this. So these are the Oxyvisual fiber, okay. So, so these are the mainly four type of the radiations, the thalamic radiation. This is the anterior thalamic radiation. This is the superior. This is the posterior thalamic radiation. And this is the inferior. so there are the four type of the thalamic radiation passes from the different part 
Intermethyl antiethylamine radiation passes through the anterior limb of the internal capsule. Superethylamine radiation passes through the genuine and the posterior limb. Okay. And the inferethylamine radiation passes through the sublentiform part, while the posterior thalamic radiation passes through the retrolentiform part of the internal capsule. Yeah. So these are the four types of the sensory fiber. Okay. Yeah. For thalamic radiation. Okay. Now the descending fiber. Come on the descending fiber. What about the descending fiber? Look here. The descending fiber comes from the frontal cortex, parietal cortex, temporal cortex, and occipital cortex. Okay, here. Yeah. So, majority are the, these are the frontopontine fiber. Okay, either frontopontine, parietopontine, okay, temporopontine, and the occipitopontine. Okay, fiber. Now, 55%, majority, the 55% of the frontopontine fiber. They passes through the anterior limb. Okay. So this is the anterior limb here. And the also the genu and the posterior limb. Okay, here. So 50 more most of the frontopontine fiber passes the whole of the entire capsule here. Okay. The anterior limb, genu, and the posterior limb. Yeah. Then the parietopontine fiber. Parietopontine fiber which arises from the parietal cortex here and this fiber passes through the retrolentiform part here and also from the sublentiform part here. Okay, these are the, these are the parietopontine fiber. Then the, the temporopontine fiber. Temporopontine fiber here from the temporal uh, cortex to the Pontine nuclei, they passes through the uh, sublentiform part here. Okay, they passes through the sublentiform part here. Same as the parietopontine fiber here. Then the occipitopontine fiber here, which rises from the occipital cortex and reaches towards the pontine nuclei, they passes through the here the retrolentiform part. Okay, here. This, Means it is easy to remember temporal fiber passes through the sublentiform part, occipital fiber passes through the retrolentiform part, frontopontine fiber passes through the, all the limbs, okay, anterior limb, genu, and the posterior limb, okay. Then the parietopontine fiber passes through the both from the retrolentiform part and the sublentiform part, okay. So this is easy to remember, okay. Now, after this, come on the Pyramidal fiber. Okay, what about the pyramidal fiber? Pyramidal fiber constitute the corticonuclear fiber. Okay, the corticospinal fiber. Okay, two type of the. Here the pyramidal fiber here. Now the corticonuclear fiber. Corticonuclear fiber passes through the genu. Okay, here this in the medial side here. This is the here genu. The corticonuclear fiber and this corticonuclear fiber ends into the cranial nerve nuclei of the different part, either the midbrain, pons, and the medulla. So, this corticonuclear fiber passes through the genu. Okay, here yeah. and the corticospinal fiber, corticospinal fiber passes through the posterior limb. Okay, here yeah. posterior limb in a certain orders. Okay, upper limb fiber passes through the anterior part of the posterior limb. Okay, followed by the this thoracic fiber, then the abdominal fiber and the lower limb fiber, like this. Okay, so this so all the corticospinal fiber passes through the posterior limb in the sequence. And the corticothalamic fiber, I told you already, corticothalamic is fronto uh, here the this striation uh, superior in the and the thalamic radiation. This fiber passes through the different area. The Corticothalamic fiber means uh, uh, thalamus to the cortex. This is the sensory fiber, the cortex to the thalamus here. Okay, so this fiber passes through the whole radiation and reaches towards the thalamic nuclei. Yeah. Then the extrapyramidal fiber. What about the extrapyramidal fiber? Extrapyramidal fiber, they are the corticostriate fiber from the cor uh, cerebral cortex to the corpus striatum here. This fiber passes through the anterior limb and the genu here. Pass anterior limb and the genu. This corticostriate fiber. Okay. Then the cortico 
rubral fiber cortico rubral fiber passes through the posterior limb okay here this passes through the posterior limb uh, so lateral to the fiber of the and this frontopontine fiber okay so these are the cortico rubral fiber then the cortico reticular fiber cortico reticular fiber passes through the here yeah, the genu and the posterior limb passes through the genu and the posterior limb here yeah, these are so if you mark the fiber here yeah, these are the cortico reticular fiber okay here yeah. these are the cortico yeah this uh, rubral fiber this is the cortico rubral fiber okay and these are the cortico striate fiber okay and these are the frontopontine fiber okay all the red color and these are the fiber of the uh, sublentin retrolentin form part here so peritopontine fiber peritopontine fiber both this is also peritopontine fiber okay these are fiber are the uh, temporopontine fiber temporopontine fiber and these are the occipitopontine fiber occipitopontine fiber here okay so this is how the fiber passes here so if you draw the diagram here again uh, so this occipitopontine fiber here come from the lateral geniculate body suppose this is the lateral geniculate body this is the uh, sorry this is the lateral geniculate body medial geniculate body here okay so these are the yeah these are the uh, optic uh, radiation fiber and here this fiber which passes below the lentiform nucleus here the sublentiform here area and these are known as the temporal pontine fiber or the auditory fiber okay so this is all about the how the fiber passes through the different area of the internal capsule clear now if if you make a, a small table okay small table it comes like this here look here it's very easy to remember suppose we make a table So here are the two columns, one are the descending fiber and the ascending fiber. These are the parts of the uh, internal capsule. These are the descending fiber or the motor fiber. Descending fiber. These are the ascending fiber. Okay, here. Yeah. Now first come the anterior limb. Anterior limb. What are the fibers in the anterior limb? The descending fiber are the, the frontopontine fiber. Okay. And the frontothalamic fiber. Two type of the descending fiber are here in the anterior limb, frontopontine and frontothalamic. And while the, uh, while the descending fiber are the fiber of the anterior thalamic radiation, anterior thalamic 
Tradition. Okay. Jada. Then the genu. What are the fiber passes for the genu? Fiber passes for the genu are the again the frontopontine fiber one and the corticonuclear fiber. Okay, we have seen corticonuclear fiber here passes through the genu. Okay, here. Yeah. So the cortico uh, nuclear fiber in the cortico reticular fiber. Cortico reticular fiber, then the parietothelmic uh, fiber from the parietal lobe to the thalamus. Parietothelmic fiber. So these four types of the fiber passes through the genu. Frontopontine, okay, and the corticonuclear, corticoreticular, and the parietothelmic. Okay, so these are the descending fiber which passes through the genu. What about the ascending fiber? Ascending fiber we have seen the genu it passes the superior thalamic radiation. Superior thalamic radiation. Okay. Now then the posterior limb. Okay. Posterior limb fiber, the descending fiber, same there as the frontopontine fiber. Frontopontine fiber, then the corticospinal fiber, the pyramidal fiber, corticospinal fiber, okay, then the cortico rubral fiber. We have seen passes through the posterior limb, cortico rubral fiber, then the cortico reticular fiber. Last is the parietothalamic fiber. Parieto we have seen the, through the posterior limb, parietothalamic fiber passes through the, this posterior limb. So the frontopontine, the majority fiber, all the fiber, frontopontine fiber passes through the anterior limb, genu and posterior limb. Then the corticospinal fiber in the descending order, okay. Then the corticolubral fiber to the red nucleus, corticoreticular fiber to reticular formation from the cortex and the parietothalamic. Okay. So these are the fiber passes through the posterior limb. Okay, now what about the, the ascending fiber? Ascending fiber are the, then the same the superior thalamic radiation. Because the superior thalamic radiation fiber passes through the genuine and the posterior limb. So, superior thalamic radiation. Okay, these are the fiber. Now, after this, come on the retrolentiform part. Okay. Retro lentiform part. Okay. Now, retro lentiform part. What about the descending fiber? Okay. Descending fiber are the these are the parieto pontine fiber. Parieto pontine. Then the occipito pontine. Okay. Occipito. Pontine fiber, then the corticotectal fiber from the cortex to the tepton. Corticotectal fiber, then the occipitothalamic. Occipitothalamic. So these are the four types of the fiber passes through the retrolentiform part. Okay. The parietopontine. Okay, occipitopontine, then the corticotectal. So these are the four type of the fiber. Then the ascending fiber. Ascending fiber are the in the retrolentiform part we have seen they are the uh, visual fiber passes. Okay, so these are the uh, posterior thalamic. Uh, these are the fiber from the posterior thalamic radiation. Posterior thalamic radiation. Okay. From the lateral geniculate body to the uh, occipital lobe. Clear? So these are the retrolentiform part. Okay. And the last is the sublentiform part. Sublentiform part. 
sublentiform part. Sublentiform part fiber passes the temporal temporopontine fiber. Temporopontine fiber and the temporothalamic. Temporothalamic fiber. Ascending fiber. What about the ascending fiber? Ascending fiber, we have seen the sublentiform part. Ascending fiber, the sensory fiber passes from the medial geniculate body to the temporal lobe. That is the inferior thalamic radiation. Okay. Inferior thalamic radiation fiber. Okay. So these are the different fiber. The ascending and the descending fiber passes through the all the part of the internal capsule anterior limb, genu posterior limb, and the retrolentiform part and the sublentiform part. Clear now. What about the blood supply? Come on the blood supply of the internal capsule here. Suppose look here. And this is the anterior limb, this is the genu, and the posterior limb, okay, like this, okay, and this is the sublentiform part, turning part, and this is the retrolentiform part, okay, we have drawn the a diagram, continuous diagram. Okay, so suppose this anterior limb, genu, this is the posterior limb, this is the sublentiform part and the retrolentiform part. If you mark here, anterior limb, genu, posterior limb, sublentiform part and the retrolentiform. Clear? Now, look here. These are the two internal carotid arteries. Okay, here. Yeah. This internal carotid artery uh, gives rise to the two anterior cerebral arteries. Okay, here yeah, these are the anterior cerebral arteries. And two centibular anterior cerebral arteries united in the midline. Okay, this in commun anterior communicating artery here. Okay, here. Yeah. This is the basilar artery basilar artery divided into the posterior cerebral artery okay two posterior cerebral arteries and this is the posterior communicating artery which communicate the internal carotid artery to the posterior cerebral artery okay here yeah. this is the middle cerebral artery okay this is the anterior caudal artery. Okay, same thing the middle cerebral artery and the anterior caudal artery. Okay, so if you give the name, this is the anterior cerebral, this is the middle cerebral, this is the anterior choroidal, this is the posterior communicating and this posterior cerebral okay here yeah. now look here what are the how this different part of the genu supply okay the first the anti this anterior limb anterior limb supplied by a one artery here which come from the anterior cerebral artery here this is the here the long artery that is a recurrent branch okay this is a recurrent branch of the recurrent branch of the anterior cerebral artery which is also known as the artery of the hubner artery of the hubner or the artery of the thrombosis most commonly thrombosis yeah. clear then again the artery which comes from the again the anterior cerebral artery here these are the striate artery okay a striate branch these are the this is the striate branch 
entire branch of the entire slip there. Okay, yeah. Clear? So this is a steroid branch. Then the the middle cell bell. From the middle cell bell here, here the again one artery comes here. That is a lateral steroid branch. Okay, here the lateral steroid branch of the here lateral steroid branch of the middle cell bell artery, which is also known as Charcot's artery. Charcot's artery. Okay, this one. Okay, so these three arteries, the recurrent artery of the humeral stride branch from the anterior cerebral artery, and the lateral stride branch from the middle cerebral artery. Here, okay, supply the anterior limb. Clear. Now the genu. What about the genu? Genu here, the recurrent branch. Okay which comes here this is the recurrent branch here okay upper one this uh, we have done the this okay so recurrent branch give rise to this genu okay then also the this lateral stride branch from the middle cerebral artery also give rise to the one branch to the genu okay here yeah. and the one branch comes from the internal carotid artery direct branch okay we supply the genu yeah. So the genu is supplied by the one branch, recurrent branch from the anterior cerebral. The here the charcoid branch here, charcoid artery here. Clear. The lateral stride branch from the middle cerebral artery here is branch will come from here, and the direct branch from the internal carotid artery. So these arteries supply the genu. Okay. Now, what about the posterior limb? Posterior limb here again supplied by the three arteries okay one artery here from these this lateral stride artery from the middle cerebral okay here then the one branch come from the anterior colloidal okay and one branch come from the posterior cerebral like this clear so these branches three branches one branch come from the middle cerebral Okay, here, here, the, which is a recurrent branch, and one branch directly here comes from the anterior caudal branch. Okay, one branch from the posterior cerebral artery. Clear? So these branches supply the here the posterior limb. Then the sublentiform part. Sublentiform part here again, this anterior cerebral artery gives rise to the one branch. Okay, and the posterior cerebral artery. Uh, anterior caudal artery, you know, the anterior, anterior caudal artery gives rise to the one branch, and the one branch comes from the here the posterior cerebral artery. So these arteries supply the sublentiform part, and the last is retrolentiform part. Retrolentiform part supplied by only the one artery, which comes from the here the posterior cerebral artery. Clear? So this is the Retral antiform part supplied only by the one artery branch come from the posterior cerebral artery. Yeah. So this is all about the blood supply of the internal capsule. And these arteries, especially the recurrent branch, okay, the artery of the humeral, which is the most commonly thrombose, while the lateral stride branch of the middle cerebral artery here, which supply the whole part, the posterior part of the anterior limb, genu, and the or anterior part of the posterior limb here. Okay, so all the three areas supplied by this most important artery, the charcoid artery, and this charcoid artery is common artery which is hemorrhage occur here. Okay, commonly hemorrhage occur due to the increase in the blood pressure. Okay? So this is the blood supply of the uh, internal capsule. What about the clinical aspect? Is a cardiovascular accident occur. Cardiovascular accident or also known as stroke syndrome. Okay. Cardiovascular accident means when there is sudden increase of the blood pressure occur, this artery, which is commonly uh, vulnerable to rupture, this is a charcoal artery. And when this charcoal artery rupture, what happens here? This is the 
develop contralateral hemiplegia occur because the, all the descending fiber, the corticonuclear and corticospinal fiber are condensed and, 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 and placed in the very narrow space here. So, uh, so many fibers are damaged, okay, due to the rupture of this artery. So, this gives rise to the, yeah, the contralateral hemiplegia. Okay, one, then the, which is sudden onset, okay, the contralateral sensory loss. Contralateral sensory loss occur and honor, homonymous homonopia. Homonymous hemianopia. Means, what's happened? Half of the vision of the loss of the half sight okay this is homonymous hemianopia okay when the recurrent artery of the humeral is thrombos here okay here there's a recurrent artery of the humor humeral recurrent artery the humeral is blocked or thrombos this gives rise to the here the syndrome where is the this art this artery occur this arthria okay arthria occur in which due to the loss of the here the mandibular branch okay mandibular here the muscles of the uh, mastication muscles of facial muscle okay or the tongue muscle okay so this leads to this arthria, okay, here, yeah. in which there is also the uh, hoarseness of the voice occur, hoarseness of voice and there will be the dysphagia occur, when there the nucleus ambiguous is paralyzed due to this uh, thrombosis of this artery, okay, here, yeah. because these fiber the this uh, uh, artery the humeral artery supply the anterior part and the genu okay so the fiber the corticonuclear fiber passes through the genu okay and this corticonuclear fiber passes through the genu so this fiber descends downward and into the uh, this facial nerve nucleus okay motor nerve nucleus of the fifth nerve and the nucleus ambiguous in the medulla so these fiber are damaged so this gives rise to the dysarthria okay due to the loss of the masticatory muscle, facial muscle and the tongue muscle and the hoarseness of voice and the dysphagia. Okay. So I think this is all about the internal capsule. Thank you.